Welcome to the Smart Business Revolution. 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 Do you want a revolution? Yeah. You say you want a revolution. Revolution. The revolution. It's going on right now. Welcome to The Revolution, the Smart Business Revolution podcast, where we ask today's most successful entrepreneurs to share the tools and strategies they use to build relationships and connections to grow their revenue. Now, now, your host for The Revolution, John Corcoran. Hey, everybody. This is John Corcoran with Dr. Jeremy Wise, and this episode is a little bit different. This is a live interview that we recorded at the Global Leadership Conference from Entrepreneurs Organization, where some of the best entrepreneurs from around the globe gathered in Washington, D.C. to share ideas and to learn about entrepreneurship. And of course, this episode is brought to you by Rise25 where we help B2B businesses to give to and to connect to their Dream 100 relationships and partnerships, helping you to run a podcast so that it generates a referral pipeline and ROI. Yeah, I mean, John, after both of us have been podcasting for over a decade, the number one thing in our life is relationships. And we're always looking at ways to give to our best relationships. And we found no better way to do that over the past decade than to profile the people and companies we admire and shout from the rooftops what they're working on. And this interview is no different. So if you've thought about podcasting, you should go to rise25.com to learn more or email us at support at rise25.com. Thanks everyone, enjoy the interview. Enjoy. Hey everybody, John Corcoran here. We're live at the Global Leadership Conference put on by Entrepreneurs Organi Organization, EO, and this is presented by Rise25. And I'm here with Rob Casaneda, who is of the EO San Francisco chapter. His company is Service Rocket. And yeah. Rob, tell us a little bit about what Service Rocket is and what you guys hey, do. Well, thanks for having me. Um, we help uh, software companies build ecosystem. And that's building all of their support, training, consulting, apps, all the things that they need to do, but they shouldn't do because they should be focused on building great software. So we've been doing that for 21 years. And you had the uh, l luck, we'll call it, of, of starting right around the time that a very large multinational, multi-billion dollar software company was starting just down the block from you, is that right? Yeah, we started uh, in Australia, in Sydney, in the same block as Atlassian. Now one of the world's largest software companies? Yeah, and actually Scott and I both uh, joined EO around the same time. Wow. We were both on the list of top Australian startup companies, <laughs> and that was the list that EO used to recruit members in Sydney. Okay. And we went, both went to this event at the Opera House, and it was my first time at the Opera House, because I don't really do opera. <laughs> but, you know, so it was a bit of fun. And uh, you followed EO, or EO followed you from... Um, Sydney, Australia, to you moved to San Francisco and became an EO member there and eventually president and now we're gonna actually gonna be coming back for your second term as president. Yeah, so a long journey, um, but I was in EO Sydney uh, on the board and uh, moved with the business around 2008, 2009 when the financial crisis happened. Uh, it was a good, great time for Aussies to move to the US or at least one of them <laughs> and uh, joined EO, contributed, helped run the chapter here and uh, Ten years later, I'm going to be president. Well, year after next. So, and uh, so we're here at Global Leadership Conference, which is for emerging leaders and established leaders uh, within the EO community. Talk a little bit about what people expect or what you see at this uh, conference. Yeah, I, I think for me, um, leadership is a mindset, and there's always things to learn. So I think you know, it's, often people might think, "Oh, I've done that. I'm I'm done." But you know, people change. The world changes. Um, the speed at which some of the newer businesses in EO are growing and what they're doing, I draw a lot of inspiration from that. Mm. A lot of learnings about human motivation, what helps people, my team, my employees, what helps them grow and what we can do to make them better, have an impact on their careers so they can have an impact on their families and impact on the community. And what would you say to an EO or who's at home, didn't come this year, who is considering coming in a future year? Uh, well, you're lucky because at least you can see all the virtual sessions. <laughs> but, I mean, the biggest thing about this conference is what happens in the hallways and at night and all that kind yeah. of stuff, all yeah. between people you meet. I'm 
we're doing some work in Latin America or, or doing some planning and I've met with you know people from Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Mexico and um, just kind of understanding what's going on down there. Yeah. So. I know you have to get off to another session, but where can people go to learn more about you and Service Rocket? Uh, we're at servicerocket.com. Isn't that amazing? We have the dot .com. Wow. <laughs> well, well, well done. This is John Corcoran. We're here at Global Leadership Conference. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to the Smart Business Revolution podcast with John Corcoran. Find out more at smartbusinessrevolution.com. And while you're there, sign up for our email list and join the revolution. 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 And be listening for the next episode of the Smart Business Revolution podcast. <laughs>